Good afternoon. Good morning. I know you're hoping to be half as cool as I am in these really neat pink uh, headphones. And the only reason I'm wearing these pink headphones is because I'm trying to get this mic uh, worked out to where it works out well. So uh, I don't have it on in the rest of the videos. I'm just trying to figure out for this one. Anyways, hello, pre-AP students. I miss y'all so much. Um, I push y'all a lot, but I really do like y'all. Y'all are y'all are okay. Y'all aren't half bad. Um, and so welcome to distance learning where your favorite subject is now being taught from the comfort of your home. So this is day one. And so what we're going to be focusing on, this is a brand new unit. And so we have a critical reading. We've got everything like normal. It's just our kind of classroom stuff that's going to be different. And so this is our unit on the major causes of the civil war. Spoiler alert, there will be a civil war. The North and the South break up. And this whole unit is trying to figure out what exactly are those causes of the breakup. A lot of y'all are familiar with that, about causes of breakups. Uh, number one right now is there's no school, so you're probably breaking up with people, but that's okay. So we're going to figure out what causes the North and the South to break up. Let me run through day one uh, activity for you guys so you know exactly what to do before you get started. So number one. I'm asking you guys to do several things here to kind of uh, get back in the swing of things. So number one, you're going to use this wonderful thing called the internet to research what exactly does secession mean? That word is pronounced secession. It's right there. Uh, even though I've, I've heard people say succession, and that's not how you pronounce that word. So it is secession. Tell me what it means. Look it up. Look it up in the context of um, American history too. That's the important part. What does secession mean in the context of American history? I want you to look at three different sources and then record your own definition below. Um, and then in the box number two, you're going to record those specific, uh, sources. Um, oh, just checking to make sure I wasn't muted. That would have been bad. Um, you're going to chat, you're going to cite those sources right there. One, two, and three. Then what I want you to hypothesize is why do you think that uh, secession will become an important part of what is going to happen uh, shortly. Okay. So pretty straightforward for that. Then what you guys are going to do, you have two steps here where you're going to look at the link that is blue right there. That is a link to a video. You're going to then use that video to answer that four questions uh, in the space provided right here where I am. Then you guys are going to do the same thing again. And so what you're doing is you're looking at two of the major crises that developed uh, previously about North and South and the, over the issue of uh, slavery. And so we're figuring out where did this breakup start? That's our main focus is, is where did this breakup start? One of the first places that it started is the Missouri Compromise. And so you'll learn about that. Then the next thing you're going to learn about is beautiful John Calhoun here and the nullification crisis. Again, where did this breakup start? Where did this idea that North and South could break up begin? Okay. So you're going to answer those four questions in the space provided after watching the video. Then you guys have a primary source right here. And that is going to be something that I want you guys to try and dig through. It's a little bit more complicated, especially because you haven't been reading this kind of thing in a while. Um, but do your best to figure out why exactly is South Carolina so grumpy? Because they stay very grumpy for a while. Okay. Then what I want you to do is uh, final thoughts. So how did the nullification crisis demonstrate this widening gap between the North and the South? Record your response. And then you are done, I believe. No, you're not. Mr. Simons, you gotta, come on, man. The last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna analyze this one primary source in blue right here, and then you'll record your answer down here. Why does this guy, John Calhoun, with the beautiful neck beard, think that uh, slavery is a positive good? And I'm sure some of you guys already have some opinions on that. Hear him out. Uh, my nose squeaked right there. I, I heard that too. Um, why does he think slavery is a good thing? And that's going to be an important part of uh, explaining why the North and the South really don't get along. Okay. All right, guys. So that's day one. I'll have videos like this every day explaining specifically what is going on for that day. Um, I will also have a video for critical reading. Um, I don't know what number it is. We'll just say number one for distance learning. Fair? Cool. Um, and so explaining what we're doing for that. So if you have any questions,